everyone. Welcome back to the Cincinnati Zoo's home safari. I'm Jenna. I hope you aren't sick of me yet. And I have my friend and coworker Mark with me. Hi guys. Help us out with the hippos. We are back with Fiona and BB, and we are really excited. We have a lot to talk about. Um, a lot of fun things to show you guys. Um, actually, less talking, hopefully, more showing you. First of all, I've gotten a lot of questions recently about their teeth. So while BB's mouth isn't too full of food, I was hoping, can you open B? You guys could check out those molars way in the back. So they have these canines and incisors to help protect them, but they do have those amazing molars in the back to help them chew up all of the hay and grass that they're eating. So they do have a really, um, a mouth made to eat that grass for sure. Another common question I would get is how strong is a hippo's bite? So these guys are actually known to be, uh, or to have the strongest bite force of any mammal. So that's mammals, animals with fur. Um, so these guys have the strongest bite force that's about 1,800 um, pounds per square inch. So that's really impressive. Polar bears, for example, is only 1,200 and humans is about 162. So hippos have a really strong bite force. So we're extra careful around them, but you'll notice they're happy to be here getting treats. So BB is our larger hippo weighing in over 3,500 um, pounds or around 3,500 pounds. And Fiona here is 1,350 pounds. So we have some fun things we wanted to talk about and do with you guys today. We actually are having the opportunity to win a hippo kiss or a painting from our hippos. So we're gonna show you how we do that. This isn't typically where we do their paintings, but we would like to try and show you guys exactly how we do it. You'll notice BB doesn't mind this towel. We're gonna wipe off that sand and slobber. It's a nice little massage for her. We got her used to this by rubbing her and then giving her a piece of lettuce immediately after. The coolest part about doing these paintings today is if you guys adopt an animal on the Cincinnati Zoo's website, you will be put in or entered to potentially win one of these paintings that we make today. So if you guys go ahead and adopt one of our animals, <laughs> you'll get a certificate with their photo information about them. And depending on what level you do, you can get all sorts of cool stuff. So BB here is um, getting Crayola non-toxic washable paint. Come here B. And we'll just rub this on her face. Oh boy, we might have to start over, huh? And, and then we'll simply press a canvas to her mouth and we call it a hippo kiss. So these guys don't mind it at all. Like I said, they actually <laughs> think it feels good because it's like a massage, but we do re uh, reward them during the whole process. So it's called operant conditioning. When we first started this, I would just touch them with paint a little bit and then immediately they'd get a piece of lettuce. So <laughs> BB here uh, is closing her eyes. She could leave at any point and we're definitely patient. If she doesn't feel like painting, then we won't paint. But I am gonna get a little bit more orange and see if BB feels like <laughs> doing a beautiful painting for you guys. All right, B, can you move up? Can you move up a little bit? I would like her to scoot forward a little bit if possible so that I can get her whole face. <laughs> but like I said, we typically don't do this here, so she may not know exactly what I'm asking of her. Hey, B, can you move up? All right, well, we'll see if this will work. We'll do our very best. So basically, I ask her to hold, and then we just roll this on her face. She sits still, <laughs> and we have a beautiful baby <laughs> kiss. And yeah, Mark, thanks for rewarding her. I appreciate that. So she does get rewarded afterwards. And let's see, B, do you want to make another one? <laughs> I'll, I'll mix in some yellow this time. Make it a little bit different. Thank you. Let's see, B. Well, that yellow isn't as bright as I was hoping it would be. Thank you. All right. I'm going to give her a little reward, even though her mouth is still full of food. We're going to ask her to hold. Good girl. She moved forward for me. Press. Oh man, that one smeared a little bit, but it's still pretty good. <laughs> good girl, B. Good job. All right, I think we're gonna try one more, see if she's up for it, and then we'll try Fiona. And she actually 
has never done one out here. She's never really been big enough, so we'll see how Fiona's turn out. Um, they may not be quite as pretty as BB's, but <laughs> we will see. Come here, B. Can you come here? Come here, B. You ready? Good girl. Can you hold? Chewing. <laughs> All right, so we have three baby kisses. She did a good job out here. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and wipe her down. You can see again, she doesn't mind and it is non-toxic. So little kids could play with this. And I'm actually going to treat Mark and we'll see if Fiona wants to do a kiss. <laughs> I see that little tongue. Sure, yeah, we'll wipe this sand off. Again, this is, I'm a little out of touch right now. <laughs> the hippos are doing great though. Good girl, Fee. Good girl. Oh, you look good in purple. <laughs> Don't you? Fiona is known for making French kisses because she loves when she gets massages. She sticks her tongue out. So some of her kisses have a little tongue mark in them. All right, can you hold? <laughs> I don't know how that one turned yeah. out. <laughs> Again, this is a little bit tall for Fiona. Thank you. Come here, Fee. You want your reward? Good girl. Let's try one more with Fiona. Are you ready? I think she's got enough on her, thankfully. Are you ready? We're going to try and get one more centered. All right, good girl. There you go, guys. <laughs> Fiona and Baby did a great job painting, and we hope you guys enjoyed that. It's definitely fun. Again, <laughs> we've done some prettier ones, but I think these are extra special because they are made for some of you guys. And it's going to help us support uh, the zoo by helping us raise money to care and feed for our animals. So thank you to everyone who's already donated. We really appreciate that. It helps us out so much. So you can imagine, it's not cheap to feed all of our animals this high quality produce. So speaking of that, we are going to do a fun taste test with you guys. I know uh, some of you might have watched our food taste test we made over the winter. Uh, these hippos typically get yellow squash, romaine lettuce, and cucumber every day, as well as their grain and hay. But today we're gonna try some fun, novel food and see if we can maybe find out their favorite. So if you guys can join us and help us be scientists, we would love for you to guess and play along Send in your answers of what you think they're going to choose as their favorite food. So we have different types. We have apples, kiwis, pears, bananas. These are things I don't normally get on a regular basis. So <laughs> we're gonna try our best to make this scientific. But what do you guys think? Pear or apple? We're gonna set them on the ground and see which ones they pick. So should we do BB first? BB first. All right, yep. Ready B? On the ground. <laughs> She's on the like, ground. wait, you usually just put it in my mouth and I don't have to work very hard? On the ground. Maybe. Do you want to try a pear? <laughs> All right, let's see if Fiona wants to play. Hey, Fee, do you want one of these? Pear or apple? Huh? I can't eat my hand, though. <laughs> Again, not super scientific, but Fiona did pick the apple. Let's see, what does BB go for? Apple. Oh, BB picked the apple, apple too. All right, now we have enough that we're gonna try it again and switch sides. So the apple will be on the right and the pear will be on the left. Are you able to get this? Is it hard to see? It's okay, you can kind of see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna switch it up. Let's see? Oh, <laughs> we lost 
that's for sure. <laughs> Do you want to pick the apple again? Oh, this would be perfect if she was back there. Oh, yum. <laughs> Go ahead and do BB Mark while she's, oh, she's back to you. We'll see if maybe we put the apple and pear over here if um, BB will. <laughs> Let's see. What if we try it this way? Nope, she's just saying, I'll take both at the same time, please. All right, B, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know if there's such thing as a favorite right now. These guys definitely love all of their fruit. So there's no right or wrong answer, whatever you guys guessed. And obviously, we aren't doing the best job <laughs> offering these. So next, we'll try sweet potato or banana. And they eat it just with the banana peel. Yeah, we can leave the peel on for sure. Oh, there's still a pear there. We've had a couple questions about if they also, do they like vegetables too? Yeah, so these guys typically get vegetables each day because they're less sugary, so it's healthier for them. The romaine lettuce is really one of their very favorites as far as I can tell. But they get cucumber and squash, um, but we also have some spinach we can try and see if they like that. But fruit is kind of like dessert for our hippos. <laughs> She's suckling. She's suckling. So you guys know Fiona was hand raised. She um, was bottle fed until she was 11 months old. So this is kind of like a, a pacifier to her. It kind of makes her feel better and you know that she's nice and happy and content when she's doing that. So Fiona is loving the sunshine and all of her different <laughs> snacks she's getting. <laughs> So, okay, we're gonna go ahead and try this one more time. I don't know how well this food taste test is working, <laughs> but we're gonna try sweet potato and banana. Oh, Fiona went. Wait, it's down here. Oh. <laughs> Fiona says, I like banana. Let's throw another banana for Baby, down here. What do you guys think? Oh, she really had a good choice that time and definitely chose banana. So I feel like Phoebe picked banana over sweet potato. Fiona's just taking a nap while she chews her food. Oh, this is a really good time to show you guys Phoebe's blood sweat. We've talked about it in many of our videos and I've mentioned it's clear or white if they are not hot or stressed but right now with the sun beating down on us you can tell BB's a little bit warm and she has these beads of what look like red sweat can you see that she's definitely producing some blood sweat right now and that acts as a sunscreen a bug repellent and an antiseptic so you can see it's kind of like little beads of sweat but it's actually a mucus so it's not sweat those do not sweat but this is a good time you can see it's actually red right now. Okay, I've mentioned in our videos before that BB doesn't like pineapple. Everyone wants to know what their favorite foods are. We honestly have no idea. As you can see, they like all foods. But I can say I've watched BB spit out pineapple. So let's see if Fiona likes it. I've seen her eat it before and she did seem to like it. Ready, pretty girl? Open <laughs> up. Good girl. And we'll see if BB likes it or if she spits it out this time whenever she's finished chewing. <laughs> Jenna, we've got a lot of questions about if they are colorblind or not. Is that why they're choosing? Is it because of the colors? Um, that's a really good question. They are not colorblind. I believe they see red and green really well, but the foods we're giving them are not red and green right now. So that's a good question that I do not know the answer to. <laughs> but I would assume that it has to do with either sight or smell. Um, or in this case, where it's not super scientific, it's more about which one they get to first. <laughs> All right, so, Phoebe, are you going to make me a liar? We'll see if she spits out this pineapple. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no such thing as a non-favorite food for the hippos, apparently. <laughs> so, Phoebe changed her mind. She does like pineapple. I'm not really sure if there's any food they don't like. 
We'll see if he likes some spinach. Have you ever given them Brussels sprouts? You know what? A long time ago we did, and they did like them. We'll see if they like the spinach or the... Oh, BB definitely chose romaine just now. So we'll see if Fiona likes romaine or spinach better. I think she picked romaine. During our food taste test that we did over the winter, romaine was definitely their favorite food out of the items that they get on a daily basis. And it's what we use for training. So we mentioned operant conditioning earlier when we were doing the paintings. A good way to take really good care of our animals and make our lives and jobs easier and keep them nice and healthy is to do operant conditioning. And if we know their favorite foods, we can do, um, we can give them the best reinforcement. So a reinforcement is something they get for doing what we would like. So maybe if you clean your rooms at home, your parents will offer you ice cream or if you do your chores. Um, so these guys basically, if we need to look in their mouth like BB's showing us, we can ask them to open and then we can reward them. So this helps us get a good look at their teeth. We also do things like blood draws and something fun and enriching like the paintings. So if we know their favorite foods, that helps us give them the best reinforcer. Your dogs or cats at home might consider affection or pets a type of reinforcer. And some of our animals here at the zoo definitely do as well. These ladies love massages, so we can reinforce them with that, but food is, is definitely a hippo's best reinforcer. Evelyn wants to know if there's any foods that they can't eat, that's something that might be bad for them. Oh yes, there are de definitely different types of trees and browse that are bad for them and that could be toxic to them. Um, I can't think of any specific like fruit or veggie that wouldn't be good for them. Some, um, for example, Brussels sprouts or broccoli can make them gassy and you wouldn't want to give them too much. It can make them a little bit upset with their stomachs or if we gave them too many sweets that could upset their stomachs. Um, so that's a really good question. We do have to pay attention to what we're feeding them. That's another reason we try these different foods, um, to make sure they're getting a wide variety and getting all the vitamins and nutrients that they need. Um, but we do actually cut back on the amount of fruit that they get. So today is an extra special day for them. Charlotte wants to know if you've ever given them pickles. Oh, <laughs> no, we haven't given them pickles, but that sounds like a lot of fun. I wonder how they would react. Um, we do notice that Fiona really likes certain smells. So if you come in with your teeth brushed from the morning and um, you kind of say hi and blow in her face, she reacts and she comes over and says hi. But if you have coffee breath, she goes nuts. So there are definitely different smells and things that they like and different flavors that they prefer. Today we do have an activity for you guys. Um, I hope you were scientists and helped us <laughs> with that study we tried. We do have a new book um, that Richard Cowdery was the illustrator for. It's called Fiona, It's Bedtime. And we were hoping you guys would join us after this and follow a step-by-step -step video of how to draw Fiona. So Richard will show you that. Um, and there's some pretty, pretty fun photos in here. And it's a story about Fiona saying goodnight to all of the animals at the zoo. So we hope you guys will join us in doing that activity. Uh, we also wanted to mention that there are a lot of ways that you can help um, conserve water. So one of the things we do is we capture rainwater here at the zoo and we collect it and then we use it in our animal habitat. So the hippo pool is actually filled with rainwater. Something you guys can do at home is uh, turn the water off while you're brushing your teeth. Uh, you can take shorter showers. You can turn the water off while you're scrubbing up your hands. I know everyone's soaping up their hands more often these days. So consider um, turning the water off while you're sudsing up and then only turn it on when you need to rinse off. Things like that are really good ways that you can make a difference. So we have one last treat for you guys and Phoebe will come back to us. Um, before we go, we wanted to show you that bite force. Let's see if I can get Phoebe back and Mark, you're welcome to give Fiona her treats also. Come here, Bee. <laughs> oh no! This side, lady. Oh man. You ready, B? Open wide. <laughs> nope. She wants the whole thing. She wants the whole thing. Well, Fiona is a little bit small for this giant watermelon, and I was really hoping you guys would get to see BB crush hers, but we'll let you see Fiona. Apparently, BB is all full, which has never happened before. <laughs> Can you get it? <laughs> so
So thanks everyone for joining us. Are there any last minute questions? All right, well, we appreciate it. And again, if you adopt an animal, you have the opportunity to win one of the paintings we made here today with Fiona and BB. We appreciate everyone's support. And um, again, if you're able to donate, we would love it. We hope you're enjoying these videos. And again, have a wonderful day. Thank you for all of your support.